Hey, what's going on guys? This is Brian with Superman's Comics. And in this video, I'm gonna do an unboxing of 2018 Upper Decks Marvel Masterpiece cards. This is the Hobby Box version. There is three cards per pack and 12 packs per box. So I bought this off of blowoutcards.com. It was 150 for the box. This is the Simone Bianchi Marvel Masterpiece. 36 cards, but you get quite a few parallels. I'm interested to open this up. Had it for a little bit, so finally getting around to unboxing it. And we're gonna take a look at it. As always, I'll have the full on view, and then I'll have a cropped view of just the cards, so that way you can not try to see the cards from back over there, over where you guys are. So let's go ahead and get this open up and we'll take a look, see what's inside. So we got this, I got the cellophane off of it. And just so you can see the packs inside of it. Right now we're gonna zoom out of this and then we'll go into the full screen of the card opening. So it's a little bit easier for you guys. Just so you can see again, that's what the inside of the box looks like. All the packs here. So we'll move these over to the side. Uh, Give you an idea of what inside of the box so it'll flip out <clears throat> open these up real quick <clears throat> so first pack we got here we got a modok and if you flip it over you'll see that it is numbered 109 of 14.99 and we got a red hulk gold foil Then we got Peter Parker Spectacular Spider-Man number 64 cover. I love how thick these cards are. I mean, good lord. No wonder it's only three per pack. Yeah, and if you're wondering, this is my first time getting <laughs> Marvel Masterpiece cards. So, if they're always that thick, I didn't know. Next one we got here, we have Electro. Yeah, number 170 in 1999. Here we have the canvas layout card. It's pretty cool, Captain America. And we got a Lady Sif. Hope I get a Barry Bonds. Here we got, here we have a Nova. Again, number 690 out of 1499. Got the backing board for, you know, many comics. For how you expect them to read if they can't even get in the building. But here we have Journey into Mystery. This is pretty cool. It's a one of one. Congratulations, you received an authentic printing plate that was used in the production of this product. Now that's pretty cool. No wonder there's this little back and board on. Oh, it makes sense to me now. I like that. I like it. That's pretty badass. And we got a Mockingbird Spider-Man Marvel team up number 95. I'm already liking this. Used to always collect sports cards, but I'm actually liking these, these cards better than football, baseball, basketball now. Don't know much about them as far as with all they're worth, but hey, I like it. Here we go. We have a Misty Knight. Number 197 in 1999. Here we have Hercules. Number 70 of 199. And then we have an Invincible Iron Man cover. And let's look at something here. So if we look at that printing plate that we just got, it kind of goes with the card here. So that's pretty cool. Still with me? All right, moving on. Here we have a saber tooth. Number 1484 of 1499. Better late than never. Got a storm. See, I like showing you guys the backs also so you can see them. And then a Captain America number one. Try to get that glare out of there for you. 
So, rookie had some good rookie year stats. So tough to open without like messing up the cards. So here we have uh, the Absorbing Man, number 1803 of 1999. We have Sketch Card, that's pretty cool. Ultron, I like that. Um, back of there, it says one of one. Congratulations, you received a hand-drawn, one-of-a-kind Marvel Art Sketch Card. That's pretty cool. And then we have number Thor. Covered Thor 337, a little Beta Ray Bill on there. Man, these cards are really sharp. And hard to open, they're well protected. Here we got a dagger. Number 1557 in 1999. Yeah. Cyclops and Black Bolt with the ability to. That's pretty cool. Then we got the Iron Fist, number 21. This is number 619, or 819, excuse me, 1499. Glare's getting me. And my age. Here we got Magic. Number 863 in 1999. We got Electra, Electra Limited Edition Hollow Foil number five of twenty. So yeah, you definitely get a lot of parallels. <coughs> I'm all hunched over. Definitely get decent parallels. Um, Amazing Spider-Man number four, fourteen oh seven of fourteen ninety nine. Really impressed with these cards. <coughs> Most people probably think, dude, they're always like that. Not for me. So here we got Hella. Good old Hella. Hella card 16, 13 of 1999. We got a Doramamu card. Bargain with you. Th number 13 of 99. Then we got a Storm and a lot of magic cover card. Number, what is that? Number 446 of 1499. Almost done. A couple more packs. We got Gorgon. 430 of 1499. Got Doc Ock. 1499. Man called Nova number four. Number 884 and 999. So what do you guys think of these cards so far? If you want, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of them. Uh, like I said, I'm impressed with them. I like the, how thick they are. Of course, I love Simone Bianchi's work. Some of the more popular years had Joe Jusco. Uh, there's a couple other ones, but I know 2016 was a big year. 1992 was Joe Jusco. But I never understood why the box is so expensive, but now I'm kind of getting an idea of why. So if you're new to them like me, I think it's well worth the money I've spent so far. And these cards are absolutely gorgeous. So if you want to collect cards other than trading uh, sports cards, baseball, basketball, or Magic the Gathering, or Pokemon, definitely take a look at these because I highly recommend them. We got Iron Fist, number 937 of 1499. Got Sabertooth. Then we got Amazing Spider-Man, number 50. Number six, 876 of 999, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, the glare of my eyeballs. It's in my eyeball. All right, last pack, guys. Uh, I can do it. Maybe. You can do it. There we go. Oh, that's pretty cool. Got us a little Daredevil card. Gold Foil Signature Series. 
got Spider Spider Man versus we got Spider Man versus Doc Ock. Spider Man versus Doc Ock. And we have a Mysterio card. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. So there it is, guys. 2018 Upper Decks Marvel Masterpiece Simone Bianchi Edition. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think of these cards. If you see a card that's super valuable, I'm gonna go look them up after this video, of course. Let me know if you thought the box break sucked. I kind of liked it, but I'm new to these cards. So I definitely enjoyed experiencing the opening them up for the first time. Also, click that thumbs up button for me. And if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing because I do a lot of comic pop culture and as you can see, trading card content on this channel. So that way, if you subscribe, you'll never miss any of it. This is Brian with Superman's Comics. I'll see you guys next time.